Hi guys, so this video is going to be all about every L Citrus Lane box for the month of July, so let's just get started. Okay guys, so when I open up every L's box, this is what I see. Of course, she has her Hello from Citrus Lane card, where it essentially talks about the theme for the box or whatever, um, and of course, like I said in eventually in this video, this one is all about playtime. Okay, so the next thing is this card. It's the same one that Evangeline had about that app and 20% off. And once again, if you want to check that out, you are more than welcome to. So this book is the next thing that I'm going to pull out and talk about. And it is the exact same book that Evangeline got, which is slightly disappointing. But, you know, I know it's not in their power to know. Because as far as I know, like when I set up our Citrus Lane, you you couldn't have like more than one box coming to your house off of your account if that makes sense like if you had more than one child you had to make another account so that was what i had to do i had to make one account and order a box for abrielle make another one and order one for evangeline so uh, that's kind of a downside to citrus lane but it's the exact same book so i think one of these might wind up going in the gifting pile the next thing that I'm pulling out is another plan toy. This is called a mouse twister and it's for children two years and up. And this is what he looks like. He's just a little mouse. Just a little mouse. And essentially what you do with this toy is you twist it. Twist, twist, twist. And both halves come off. I'm not going to take off the other one because it takes a little bit of time. Um, I think this will be an intriguing toy for Abrielle, although I think she's going to need some help, especially in the beginning, because this toy is rather large. Like, that's almost the size of my palm, I'm trying to show that to you guys. So, I think she might have a hard time handling this and getting the hang of it at first, but I think eventually she will enjoy fooling around with this toy. Okay, guys, so these are the next thing that were in her box, and they are hand puppets. You cannot really get your hands... Uh, your fingers very far into their heads but you can do it enough to make them nod and they can wave and they both have tails you know they're cute and whatnot um, but I will say this the fabric that these are made out of is very thin like when I hold it up to the light I'm sure I know you guys won't be able to see it but you can see through this fabric and honestly for these to be Melissa and Doug I felt like these felt pretty cheap I felt like these the quality, just the feel of them reminds me of going to the flea market and picking up a cheap toy from the flea market. I just, I don't know, like, I know I'm very sure that Abrielle will really enjoy these, but I just felt like these were very cheap feeling. I was kind of disappointed in that. Okay, so the last thing that was in Abrielle's Citrus Lane box, I did not expect in a million years to see this, like... I just I just didn't and it is nail polish it is um, julep nail polish it's a really nice purple color I just never ever would have thought um, to see one of these and I don't know exactly I've never had any of this stuff so I'm not sure what the name of it is where it actually tells you the name um, swatch me on the tip of it let's see this I guess this is London with a classic twist it says um and at first when I saw this it kind of made me mad and I know that sounds really super weird but it did kind of make me mad because I you don't have the option with citrus lane of opting out of receiving any gifts for yourself like you do with bloom which is kind of a negative thing for me for citrus lane and so randomly citrus lane can send you stuff like this I I'm sure that a lot of moms who received this nail polish were probably excited about it and enjoyed it. But at the same time, for me personally, um, that's why I have my own subscriptions. That's why, you know, me and Sam decided that even for us, for mommy and daddy, you know, Sam has his and I have mine. Like, we all got one. Um, you know, we, we figured out how we could work that into the budget and stuff like that. So we could all treat ourselves. And I feel like when it comes to Citrus Lane, I'm paying for things for the girls. Like, I'm doing this for the kids, not for myself. So, I would really prefer to not see things for myself and see products for my children instead. That is everything that was in Ariel's Citrus Lane box for the month of July. Um, all in all, like I said, I just, I would prefer to see products for my kids instead of random stuff for me. Mouse toy, he's, uh, he, he's alright. I don't, I don't know. Like... 
I, I'd rather have the mouse than these puppets. I just feel like they're cheaply made. And another thing that I forgot to point out about these that I really don't like is, see those eyes? Yeah, those are those bead eye things. And in my um, personal opinion, that is just a, a big no-no for small children. I have heard many a horror stories about kids digging these eyes out, swallowing them, getting choked on them, and bad things becoming because of these types of eyes. So these will be definitely under supervision only and not something that is going to be left out to where Abriel can have access with it. Like if she wakes up during the night and starts playing with her toys, this is going to be something that's put up high. And as for the book, um, I always love seeing books because I love books, but it's just kind of sad because... We got this book and both boxes, so I guess the good news, like I said, is now we have a book to use for regifting purposes. All in all, this box wasn't horrible, but it also wasn't the best. Like, I feel like last month's box was better than this month, so hopefully next month's will be better. I'm still really on the fence about whether or not I'm going to renew this subscription or not, and it's going to be coming due now before I know it. I mean, this is the third box. We've got three more boxes, and I've got to be making a decision about if I think these are worth it or not. And so far, I'm still really not sure. There's such a hit and miss, I feel like. Alright guys, so I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!